Okay, welcome back everybody. This is Beanstalk again. This is episode three. Three already? Wow. Oh man. Oh yeah. Yeah, see? How's it going? Is uh, Last week we talked about TV shows and we talked about PS5. Oh, we did, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. But let's move on to something that I do enjoy and something that I yeah, think okay. yeah, for sure. this podcast is going to be primarily about. Pokemans. Pokemans. So the new expansion came out. And also there was a Nintendo Direct-esque Pokemon digital event. Mm -hmm. They announced some things. Uh -huh. And you guys didn't watch it, so I'm very excited to tell you guys about it. Yeah, Ooh. okay. Yeah, see, this sounds good. Alrighty. Go, go, go for it. Yeah. So I might as well start with the Pokemon live event. And it started, it had the best start ever. They announced the best thing ever, guys. You're never going to guess. Um, all, all I saw was legendaries, so that's what I was... Yeah. Okay. I, is... So, yes, there's going to be a legendary coming to Pokemon Shield. But the best thing... Hmm. The thing that they announced at the start of the event, Pokemon Smile. Wait, uh, what, which? Oh, you mean like this? freaking uh, uh, Pokemon Snap, like the remake? You mean? Nope. Pokemon Smile. What the fuck is Pokemon Smile? Uh, pardon my <laughs> my <laughs> <soul>. <laughs> 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 Pokemon Smile is an app. That oh helps no! You brush your teeth. Oh. Well, do what? I think I'll use that because. I don't know exactly what it's going to do to help me brush my teeth, but, you know, I'd, I'd appreciate it. It's it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you have a certain threshold of teeth brushing re um, record time, it's like, oh, here's a Suicune because you brush your teeth for six hours. All right. Oh, great. <laughs> and then at the 12-hour mark, you get, like, another one. And, like, you know, there's some, you know there's, there's probably I a system. That, I think that'd be very useful. I'll, I'll take it. Right? Yeah. I do... Or I brush your teeth for, like, for 20 hours and you get, like, a free Master Ball. You'll be like, oh, pfft, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Master I Balls are cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, yeah, just grind it out. I don't think it's a bad thing. What I think is just that people, like, went crazy because that's the thing that they led with. They were like, <laughs> it's an app that helps you brush your teeth. And everybody was like, what? the What? Why? This isn't what I want to hear about. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear, Scott. I want to hear that you never had Pokemon Smile. Like, oh. Man. You know, everyone wants that Pokemon Smile. Yeah. Good smile. It is... It's fine. I think it's... Uh, I think it's an actually good decision on uh, Game Freak Nintendo's part. Because in case if everybody forgot, Pokemon... Is a child's game? No, it's not. No, Chris. No, it's not a child's game. It's a game for adults now. Okay. <laughs> no, it's it was for children, but the children grew up and continued to play all this time. Is the problem? Yeah. So so now it's ours. So yeah, it's still ours. Yeah. <laughs> ours, not theirs, not them over there. You know. Yeah. You. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, jeez. Anyway. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> no, it's man. The way the way I described it would be awesome, but it's not going to be that useful. I think it's just going to be like, oh, you you little boy or little girl, you did good job, and then I think that's the extent of it. <laughs> Do you, it reminds me of that episode of uh, Better Call Saul, uh -huh. and, um, which is the spinoff of uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah. And Saul and Saul Goodman is trying to. Well, I guess you know what's his name. What's his actual name? I forget. Uh, Jimmy McGill. No, no, the, the character, is because oh. Saul Goodman isn't his actual name. It's that's his uh the name they adopts later, but um, yeah. So his name is actually like Jimmy, McGill or something like that. But anyway, um. Anyways. I was going with it. Yeah. So there's this part where he goes to do this patent uh law thing, with this one uh client of his, and it's just a it's this guy's invention. It's a toilet, and he goes Chandler. It's so big, as the kid's trying to you know, like take it a duke. Oh. Into the <laughs> no, that, that was too, it was too funny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but, but yeah. But back to yeah. no, no, that's a good segue because yeah, some would argue that Pokemon is going there as well. So no, that's actually <laughs> very much relevant. So good job, Ismont. Now that was subtle. I like what you did there. Uh, yeah. So, 
the next thing that they announced in the Pokemon Presents live event. I might be forgetting something that came after Smile, but I believe uh-huh. they went into Pokemon Go. And That's still a thing? Yes, and in fact... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, can't so you, like, so. synchronize your Pokemon Go account to your whatever, and, like, you could just trade Pokemon between them like that, couldn't oh, you? you can sync it to your Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, but not like, the actual games. Oh, but those games, you can link them to the Pokemon Go's, I remember. Uh, you know what? Actually, it links to Pokemon Home, which is, like, the all-purpose. You can dump your Pokemon in a virtual box and then transfer it to multiple games. See, I so love like, that idea, except I have to pay for it. Which... Yeah, see, that seems like, yeah, that's too much. You have to pay if you want more boxes, but you get 30 oh, spaces see. for free, so you can do like very Just 30? a very tedious transfer over. So what? I I have space for 30 Pokemon, and that's it. Yeah, but out of how many Pokemon are there now again, Kevin? <laughs> what, what uh, <laughs> there's at least a thousand. Oh, there is 900. Oh, well, no, they're not done yet. So yeah, we're they're gonna break that barrier soon. I'm sure. <laughs> Now, we don't know when, but the next generation will be here in, like, the next four or five years, and then we'll be over a thousand. Mm-hmm. Oh, my lord. And we'll only see, like, two or three hundred of them in the new game. Yeah. Now, I was just talking to my sister about, um, because I, I just told her about the, the expansion and how uh-huh. they just bring all the legendaries and stuff. Uh, she's like, yeah. all I ever wanted was the national decks, and I'm like, but then she's like, she started saying, like, wait, but if they're just going to keep expanding this game, it's going to be, like, you know, just everything mashed into one Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. And the more we talked about it, the more we kind of liked that idea. Just think of one giant Pokemon game spanning from... True. Yeah. No, you mean like... Po- you will have to pay for it. Oh, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> you will have to pay for the multiple expansion passes for them to do that. That is true, yeah. No, right. just give it to me in the base game. I w- Jeez. Kevin, they can't do it. Yes, they can. Game Freak doesn't want to put in that much effort. They barely no. put in effort in the regular game. <laughs> like how Japan just went to freaking Akira Toriyama's house and just has truckloads of cash and they're just dumping. They're like, no, you will work. <laughs> game Freak has many more because, po- you know, because it's Pokemon, you know, one of the most worldwide known recognizable, you know, franchises or whatever. So, I don't know. I think Game Freak is just lazy, and I think it shows. Uh, you know, I'm just sad that they decided to cave into the whole uh, DLC stuff. Because they said they would never do it. I'm not. No, Chris. I'm not surprised <laughs> that they did it. Yeah. <laughs> I I feel like it was planned the whole time, but at the same the time, time, they recognized... They probably made certain decisions, and then they recognized while making the game... Okay, people are gonna hate this. They're gonna hate yeah. that there's only 400 Pokemon. They're gonna hate that there's only one wild area in the game. And when you compare it uh, to like the oh, game yeah. as a whole, it's not that big. Yeah, there's just a lot to there's a, there's just a lot of Pokemon, and it's and it's variable on when you find them. Uh huh. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stupid time manipulation stuff that you can do in Sword and Shield. But mine never works, though, so I'm like, man, this is stupid. But yeah, like, man, it is hard finding the Pokemon you want in Sword and Shield, actually, like, by based on the conditions you have to find it in. Yeah, uh, man, that game. But before we go keep on talking about the expansion pass, we were on Pokemon Go, and uh-huh. it was so important for them to note that the usual Pokemon Go Fest, that's a worldwide event that happens every year since it came out, uh... Is cancelled? No. They no? they were like, no, we're not cancelling it. We're doing it all digital. And I don't understand how that, that works. Means? Yeah, how are they gonna do that? I don't know. I mean... I don't know anybody and i personally don't care about pokemon go anymore so i don't understand how the game has changed i know that after a while they added actual battling into the game and so like does, does does pokemon go even like mean to go anymore as you just you can be at home and you just can play <laughs> if so then i'll just play pokemon go actually yeah own. apparently no i had a co-worker <laughs> explain to me he's like yeah you just shake your phone a couple times and it just resets the area i'm like what he's like yeah so it's yeah, great. Yeah, but that defeats the whole purpose of Pokemon. It Go. totally does, doesn't it? <laughs> you are correct. I agree with you. 
I mean, you, I mean, you could go to somewhere excluded, you know, secluded or whatever, and, you know, with the whole corona stuff. You don't have to be in a crowded area. I know, but aren't there, like, thousands of fools that would be like, oh, yeah, book it, book it go fest or whatever. And they need like, an area to house all those people and they because all those people will be standing six feet apart. So, you know, <laughs> the fact that everyone has to be spread out to such a degree might make it difficult. And how? How? Just how? Yeah. How uh, How is a digital festival any different from just a regular game? Something is going to happen, and they it's who knows. <laughs> I do remember though that they announced that there was going to be a raid because they uh, Pokemon Go introduced the raid before it was in Sword and Shield. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So there was going to be a raid during Go Fest for a specific legendary. The thing is, I don't remember which legendary it was mm. because I wasn't paying attention when they were talking about Pokemon Go. Uh huh. Sorry to anybody who likes Pokemon Go. I don't care about it, and I guess if you want that legendary, I mean, it's a legendary, so who cares if it's stupid? I don't know. Maybe it's Keldeo. The g- <laughs> Keldeo is one of the basic ones that they go to every time when they're like, oh man, this super legendary rare Pokemon. Oh man, is that the dumb, the rocking horse looking thing? Yeah, it's the blue horse. The one with the unicorn. Yeah, isn't he like normal type and he has no moves and you're like, man, what a piece of crap this is. No, he's water fighting type. Is he? Oh. And he has the, but he does only have the one really good move, which is Sacred Sword. But I'd rather have like a, um... Freaking I would a- rather have I'd, I'd rather his... have Aegis Slash have Sacred Sword because that's just the coolest. I'm just saying. That would be cool. Yeah, and you could just catch him, no problem. Or, no, you, the... yeah. Keldeo is actually supposed to be the youngest of four Guardians, the three of which are available, were in Black and White, and you can go and catch them during the story of Black and White. Uh, Kobalion, Terrakian, and Verizian. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did catch those. I remember those. In the, not only are they way better than Keldeo, you can find them in the game, and they yeah, were and available yeah. in other games The fact games that they're after. for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, you're right. They were all something and a fighting type, I remember. So after they talked about Pokemon Go, mm-hmm. they talked about Sword and Shield. Okay. They were like... They had already announced the ex- that the expansion was coming out, so they were like, just be ready for it on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they announced that there's a, an event going on currently where it, it, there's a raid battle that'll go on every day where you can fight the legendary Zeraora, who is a legendary that was introduced in Sun Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, mm-hmm. uh, who was an event Pokemon. You would just go and get them. I didn't go and get one. I didn't even realize that it had happened. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, see, yeah. Uh, it slipped through the fingers. Yeah, I hear you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's it's an electric type, uh, kind of like a... He's a tiger cat looking kind of guy, if you've okay. seen him. And if you, you can only fight him, though. You can't catch him. Oh. The thing that they're doing is that if you fight him and if, and if the, and if Game Freak tracks that all players around the world beat Zero Aura one million times, everyone will be given a shiny Zero Aura. Oh. Wait, you it's mean... It's pretty cool. You mean every single person has to have one million? No. Or just one million person. collectively? Everybody That'd collectively. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Zero I was about Aura. to say, I'm like, mm, man, they... Oof. But okay, that actually makes way more sense. No, because the event isn't going to last long enough for somebody to beat it a million times. Yeah. Yeah, see, as I hear it come out of my mouth, I'm like, yeah, that, that can't be. No, they, they just want you to be a neat, Kevin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Nintendo totally does, man. You are correct. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. cool that they mm-hmm. have added, essentially added, another legendary to Sword and Shield. I heard that there was a legendary that was released only in Japan, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what? You can keep it, Japan. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, okay, it that's looks cool. Weird. It doesn't. It's not cool looking like the expansion pass legendary, the Cub Fu. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's the legendary. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, he's essentially a legendary. You can only get one of him. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. guess. I suppose by that logic, you could call any starter a legendary, but they're not. Um, yeah. But no, he is a legendary. Yeah, because you can breed um, starter Pokemon, I believe. is Like, you can't breed legendary Pokemon. Like, I don't yeah. think they ever have a gender is the whole thing. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, that's the that's definitely the case. Yeah. They So they talked about the expansion. That was about it, that you will... You get to fight Zera Aura. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's actually hard for me to remember. I wish I had watched it again before this, but there wasn't much that they announced. It was only 10 minutes. Oh, okay. At the end, at the end, they showed off and they announced that, in fact, it's cool that you name dropped it earlier. Pokemon Snap is coming back. Ooh. They, it's, yeah. I I didn't see I didn't see the event, but you know YouTube will make sure everyone knows what's up. And I've like I've scrolled yeah. past like titles that were like, oh this 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 and this, and I'm like, oh that's mm, that's interesting. Pokemon yeah. Snap. I bet they can make a really good one now. Actually, I think it oh, actually might be yeah. Look at the look at the announcement trailer. It looks stunning. It's amazing how good it looks considering Sword and Shield is just okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, as far as Pokemon games go, yeah. Uh, so that's been blowing up the internet for the past few days. Mm. Uh, because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Pokemon Snap is like, I remember playing it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I ever had it. I think it's a situation like when I had a, when I had a PlayStation Two and I was able to play PS One games and I was able to see certain PS One games, but I didn't own them. I yeah. had friends who had them. Mm-hmm. I had a. F- I probably had a friend or I rented Pokemon Snap once. Mm-hmm. And it's, I guess people are sort of divided on it in some way because they're like, you're just sitting there and you're taking pictures of Pokemon. Where's the fun? It's like, it's really enjoyable, actually. To mm-hmm. me, at least. No, it's yeah, like going yeah. through a little amusement park. I feel like it's very enjoyable. You know what game I actually really did enjoy? Was a uh, Poke Park. That was actually pretty good. Remember that one? On the Wii? Oh, yeah. I remember that one's bit... it. I didn't get it. I remember it. But no, that one was a bit underrated, I think. Because that was actually pretty good. Yeah, I but can't yeah. say I'm, I ever heard of Pokemon Park, actually. But hmm. Yeah, no, that's a pretty good one. Also, yeah, I'll have um, to look it up. No, I, 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 honestly, sometimes I like the, the spin-offs more than I like the actual mainline <laughs> titles. They really put work into those spin-offs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they really do. Like, have you ever played uh, Pokemon Conquest? That is such a good one. No, but you told me about it once. It's basic. It's basically Fire Emblem, not Fire Emblem, but like the the gameplay of Fire Emblem with um, Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's so yeah, see, more, I like that. More it's like particularly, a tactical strategy. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, and... it's Nobunaga's ambition, I think, or something like that. Whatever it is, I I don't know. I I forget what the uh, it's uh, it mixes with, but you know, actually, let me look it up. But no, I. Dude, it was so hard finding this game. It's on the DS. It was hard to. I, I, I like found it at GameStop once, and I was like, I'm buying this right now, because it's not an easy cartridge to find. Yeah, I believe it. Some games are yeah, just impossible. Yeah, the series, the series that it mixes with is Nobunaga's Ambition. There you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, that Nobunaga. He sure yeah. did have ambition. Sure did. He unified Japan, right? That that's the whole shtick. Yeah, no, but he he had the ambition to to, to fight Japan. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, at the end, yeah. <laughs> I know very little bit, like, very little of Japanese history. I know absolutely yeah. nothing. And what little I know about Nobunaga has come from the Anime. So, I don't know, some of yeah. that might be brought into question. So I, 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 I've, I've got a few Nobunaga games, I just haven't played them yet, so I yeah. know nothing. But yeah, any, uh, anyway, anything else about that, uh... Uh, the, the, the oh yeah, so, so yeah. Chris, here, here's the big, big question. Oh yeah, here we go. Pokemon Stadium is that coming back? Kevin, what do you? I uh, no, no, it's not, because Pokemon is now just Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Coliseum. What those games were, it's a 3D RPG with a roaming world. And there's no reason to bring back the side games like that. Uh, I I don't know. See, I would disagree because I think because Col- Coliseum's uh, or whatever that one in particular, it wasn't. Oh, you're a creative character. You were the like you were this person, and this person has these Pokemon. Like I like the 
idea of a Pokemon game where you don't actually get to choose what the um, what you're actually equipped with in the game. I like the, you know, you're just going to play this story out and see how it goes. The thing about that is, actually, there is... Uh, I wouldn't say it's entirely like that in Sword and Shield, but you're capable of renting teams for online play. Like, you can look up a serial code for somebody's team that they made, and you can rent that team, and you can use it in online ranked matches. So mm. it is sort of like being able to just pick up a team, uh, a, re a regular good old competitive-style team, uh, without needing to catch the Pokemon for it. But it's not mm. exactly like Pokemon Stadium, you're right in that sense. Mm. Or Pokemon Coliseum, for that matter. But I mean, either or. I mean, I'd be happy. I'd be happy with any new cool Pokemon stuff that would be like, oh man, yeah, it's the Sword and Shield. It, ha it has it hasn't been it. Gotta say. No, I re because I really loved Pokemon Coliseum and its sequel, uh, Gale of Darkness, mm -hmm. because the story mode, the single player campaign in those games, people don't talk about it that much. So, like, I don't think people realize just how great those games were. Like, I the remember in Colise That's what I'm saying. Because Pokemon, Pokemon Sword and Shield is such a story-less game. I would love if they said no, or this is a, like a real, more story-based one, like Colosseum no. or Stadium. Like, I've never particularly minded that uh, the Pokemon base games were, like, particularly uh, devoid of a deep storytelling with the exception of some games was wasn't black and oh black and, and white, white for sure like they they had like a heavy story or something yeah that game was rich with lore and like mm -hmm. this story uh the main villain no that game was pretty good mm -hmm. i like the story of that game but i i thought the first one was a uh, pretty lackluster once you beat it though like what? like what i mean, mean like the, the first one the the end game stuff thought it was yeah for black yeah black and white right. regular yeah. black and white yeah yeah if i recall correctly i might be i guess you're correct i would say black 2 and white 2 are the weaker games because their story sucks oh fair uh, enough but you're right the post game content in black 2 and white 2 is much more deep it's a lot better yeah no because I, I i i like my pokemon games based on the end game content usually more so than i you know the start game stuff mm -hmm. mid game whatever yeah because I love the Battle Frontier, so that was like my favorite thing of all time, particularly in um, Emerald. Oh yeah, Emerald had tons of stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, I love that game. I love it so much. I still play it. Yeah, no, I'd play it too if I. Yeah, man, yeah. Emerald no, I, is I a great want, game. I, all I want, what it, all I wanted was that Delta Emerald, and it never came. They <laughs> me so hard. But it, <laughs> <laughs> it had the. They had the story at the end of Alpha Sapphire and Omega uh, Ruby. Uh, no, but Delta, Chris, Delta Chris, Emerald would have been know, awesome. The biggest ever was when they decided to put a sign up that said the Battle Frontier coming soon. <laughs> Do you know how much that hurt, Chris? I'm still hurt. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I've got issues because of this. <laughs> that, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't forgive you, Game Freak, for that. I, yeah. I, I hurt. I'm I'm still hurting. I get where you're I'll coming from. I'll forgive you though if you come out but with I a mean, Battle Frontier Battle Tower came remake back. of that. It's the so. same as it was. Yeah, but it Frontier. wasn't good. I mean, Soul Silver's Battle Frontier was decent. Or no, how about this? What it is much? Here's this proposition. Just what if they made Delta Emerald, but it was in the Sword and Shield style? I I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. it could I, I, it could still happen because they are listening, kind of. They could choose to, you know, base their decisions not on it, but they are listening at the very least. I don't think it's happening. Yeah, potentially not. But if we scream loud enough and hard enough at their eyes and ear holes. <laughs> well, I suppose, because the examples I'm thinking of, Fire Red and Leaf Green didn't get a third version. Those were remakes of the originals. Yeah, yeah but didn't uh, Japan Heart didn't Japan have like a and like uh, Europe have like a water blue version? Like other parts of the world did get a third <laughs> copy of that game. No, no, no. Uh, Japan had uh, green and red, right? Japan always had red and green, and then they yeah. got a third version that was blue, and then a fourth version when that yellow was came yellow. out. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And that way you can get Pikachu in it, and you're like, dang, that's super cool. Like, Pikachu's your starter right. Pokemon. You're like, oh. You ever and then you find that, out uh, that, that sucks. Pokemon hack? Ash Gray? Such a good yeah, one. Yeah, and it's not great. Oh. Well, you know what? Thanks for hurting my feelings. No, I'm it's cute. <laughs> I mean, it's nice that it's just, it's a reference to the to the original series. But yeah, it's, it's, it's rough around the edges because it's a fan game. It's not exactly yeah. polished. No, the, also, the best part is when you lose your Caterpie for no reason. Yeah, there are <laughs> things like that where it follows the story and as such, you just screws with you like that. Oh yeah, your Caterpie just decides to leave and you're like, okay. You're like, oh. you can no. find a level 7 Pidgeotto. It's no. stupid. No, dude, the, be- the Beedrill steals my Caterpie. Oh jeez, did it. And that was it. Oh. That was, it was gone. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. What were you um, on again? Oh, yeah, I don't Pokemon Stadium. We got very far away. <laughs> but I can, no. we can't help it. I mean, like, if I ever say anything negative about the new Pokemon games, believe me, it's just because I love Pokemon so much that I just want it to get better every time. And when I say... And Game Freak is telling s- you no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I say things like Pokemon has been the same as it has been when it first started, I want... I want people to honestly play the original game, then play the minor things that they changed in Gold and Silver, and then play the current game and tell me, did it really change? And, like, I did that, and no, it hasn't changed since it started. They've added things, sure. They've made things look better. They've tried in places, but they're not doing anything different. To be fair, Chris, though... The two best Pokemon games of all time is Emerald and Soul Silver. I don't know where you get that idea. Soul Silver is not better than Platinum. Platinum's pretty good too, but Soul Silver. Yeah, wait, hold on. The why, why, Soul Sil- the... why, why Soul Silver over Heart Gold is my, or is that just a color preference? Are it's you just a color preference. are you color shaming <laughs> my video also, games? Also, because Lugia, Lugia beats Ho Oh any day. Fine. I, mm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i didn't think about it like that but yeah nope. no because yeah. uh i don't know if you remember chris but of uh, months back i was telling you how um like one of the deals of the day for amazon was five pokemon games for 50 bucks and i was like Pfft. yeah yeah um and so was two, one of them two of them soul were so so yes i had got platinum diamond pearl soul silver heart gold dude you just hit the gold mine i did um, but for fifty dollars? Are you serious? Yeah, I got all th- those five for fifty, and Dude, you can sell heart gold and soul silver. Yeah, for I, 50 yeah, each. I know. After I found <laughs> it, I went into a regular GameStop. I'm like, <laughs> I found one of them for fifty in GameStop. I'm like, geez, and that's used. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just like what the heck? But then it was I was reading reviews, and one the one review that stuck out, of course, was the one that said the worst thing, right? Because you know, yeah. that's how it goes. And it's like, no, these are just dumb bootleg remake Chinese whatever versions, like uh, basically <laughs> like display versions of the game, essentially. And they're like, oh, yeah, they're super buggy and I hate them. And, blah, 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 blah. and I actually started running into those problems. So it kind of hurt my heart a little bit. <laughs> oh, but then rip. but I found I noticed that it the games were real buggy on my 3DS XL, you know, the big version. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were bug out. They would freeze all the time. It hurt my soul. But I've since I've now just switched to my regular, you know, average Joe 3DS. And I tell you what, those games are awesome. It's probably because of the firmware. Yeah, that's what With I was the, thinking. Uh, also, XL. Because if if they're if yeah. they're uh, what bootlegs, then the firmware with the the newer uh, hardware is probably like messing with it. Yeah, I think I think the yeah. bootleg version was yeah geared toward the regular and not the. You know the newer and one, I, and I and I assume that Kevin doesn't update his DS. So, hey, oh, does it not update automatically? Mm. No, there therefore, probably didn't update it, which is why it probably works pretty well. Mm, I don't know, cause I don't update both of my DSs. So yeah, I, I I mess around a little bit with that kind of stuff, but like yeah. I don't know too much, but yeah, it usually has something to do with like the firmware and that kind of thing, and I can, mm-hmm. I can mess with with it. So I think that All might right. be the problem, partially. You know what? That um, I may as well fix that right now. 
Um, because if that is in fact the case, I would much prefer to play on my bigger, much cooler DS. So what the hell were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about, um, I don't know. That's a good well, question. actually, we were, we were talking about <laughs> Pokemon Stadium and Coliseum and what have you. And then yeah. I mentioned, and then we started talking, and then Ismut made a very bold statement about the two best Pokemon games. And yes. from there, with the discussion, dove into, oh, so- Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, because I am also playing those games. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Uh, anyway, we can move on. Yeah. I, yeah. So Pokemon Snap got announced, and that was the end of the Pokemon Presents. And then Mr. Tajiri himself, the king of Pokemon himself. He yeah. said that he'll have more to announce next Monday. Mind you, this happened this past Monday. Uh-huh. So actually, at about the same time that we post this podcast, we're going to get an announcement from Pokemon about uh-huh. something. I don't want to throw around predictions predictions because it's going. this podcast is going up the same time as that uh-huh. uh, announcement. And I think also Nintendo... That might be a Nintendo event, because I think Nintendo's going to announce the next Smash DLC fighter. fighter uh, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The character from ARMS is going to be, they're going to announce them on Monday. So there's that. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless if we want to talk about that, I would like to get to the Pokemon Short and Shield expansion. So, yeah, I, I did watch the video just like a little while ago, like the trailer or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I saw this little Teddy Ursa looking thing. And oh my god, it looks so awesome! Yeah, falls. yeah, yeah. Look, little, little cutie pie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is so? Is that actually Teddy Grissa, or is that like a? No. No, it's, it's a different one. one. Yeah, he's no. I believe his name is Cub Fu, the small version, <laughs> and I don't remember what he evolves into. And yes, he's a legendary that evolves. Wait, he's a legendary? I'm pretty sure. That's yeah, so he's weird. yeah he's a sexless panda that evolves. Yeah, legendary. So so he's just a knockoff legendary Teddy Ursa. Mm, I don't because know. Everyone likes to think that Teddy, Teddy Ursa. Ursa. <laughs> Dude, you forget Ursa Ring is pretty fucking badass, yo. Yeah, he oh, is. Okay. Well. Yeah. See, yeah. I'm like, yeah, Teddy Ursa kind of mm, has no, no cause, sauce, cause, but I mean, Ursa Ring sure it does. When it evolves, it looks exactly like Ursa Ring. It oh, does it? Look exactly like Ursa Ring. It does. Oh, does it? Oh, wait, hold on. It just has a bandana, and it's black. Oh, man, but that sounds awesome. It's not, it's not even black. It's gray and black. It's Whatever. more gray. But it's... <laughs> I want to talk about how there are different expansion versions for the different versions of Pokemon. Oh, yeah, they're like different islands you get to go to, right? Or something? No, it's the same island, but it's the same thing as the Pokemon with the different versions always is. There are exclusive Pokemon to Shield, exclusive Pokemon to Sword. There's an exclusive character to Shield, an exclusive character to Sword. Oh, God, what if I got the wrong version? Yes, that's a problem because I read this headline recently. Oh, no. Nintendo will not give a refund if you bought the wrong expansion pass. Oh, I mean... not cl- People have not been getting it that there's two different versions, and in the first place, it's a pretty dumb thing for them to be version-exclusive expansion passes. Yeah, see, that's dumb. Uh, so that means I have to buy both DLC now? No, what if I have... I Like, I bought Sword, but what if I wanted to, to buy the Shield expansion? Would I be unable to use it because I don't have the Shield yeah. game? No, you, you would not be able to shield. use it, no. Damn, yeah, see, that's stupid. That, no. No, Nintendo. You can't make me. They want you to pay for it twice. It's a shame because I would say that with every after playing it with everything that the expansion has added, I would say it's worth $30 because the $30 doesn't get just get you this island. It gets you the next one that comes out in the fall or the winter. But if you accidentally uh. pay... For the wrong one, I'm going to tell you, it's not worth $60 to buy the same game, like, Twice. half the game. <laughs> what well, you buy one and a half games, you pay the price of two games. That is that is horrible. That's not... Oof. Nintendo screwed that up. No, you want know Though, Chris, they did the same thing with Animal Crossing. Oh, did they? Nintendo. Yeah, because you have to have a whole nother Switch in order to have a different save file. Oh, yeah, that... that mm. Yeah, so I have to buy a full switch. My sister bought a switch just so she can have her own save file. That's that's only if that's so, you. That's so dirty. 
don't want to use make other users on your system and have save files for those. No, no, you. It's literally you have to have a full. Yeah, no, I, no, I remember. Also, yeah, mention uh, because cause... you can have if you have two profiles on the same switch, right? It's not yeah. two separate islands. It's no, just two uh, people on the same island. No, in fact, my brother, uh, my sister, and her boyfriend are tell, t- telling me about it. Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, we only are allowed to have one island, so we have to share. I'm like, oh man, that's e. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Yeah, it's rough, man. and it's on my system, so I don't know if they're going to keep their island when I take it. <laughs> so that's no, Nintendo, also rough. Nintendo's Damn, Nintendo. milking it. I swear, they're milking it. Wait, isn't there like no way to? Because you know, because the Switch, the, at least the dock, it has like USB ports. Isn't there a way to like, you know, take that data and like put it on a USB flash drive nope. or something? No. Nope. Nope. And nope. You There's not even cloud it. save. There's what? no cloud save either. No, no, no cloud save for Animal Crossing. That was a huge deal when they announced that. Yeah. No. They, they, they really, really wanted to screw people over with this. That's just what it. So if your Switch breaks, it's it's kind of gone. And this just sounds awful. Yeah, no, it's it it is awful, and I think the reason why Nintendo did this was because they knew it's Corona, and they also knew that um. Well, I mean, they, weren't they hit first anyway? They're part of the world. Yeah. So yeah, maybe no. they probably did I have. Think, a... I think that I think they knew, and what they're doing is well now we can just mark up the prices on our switches because there's not enough to go around. Oh yeah, see, Chris, needs yeah, to they're... buy another switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. And there you. I mean, I, I, I bought my Switch when it was a little bit cheaper, so thank goodness. Yeah, but, and I bought mine used from yeah. uh, on eBay a long time ago. Mm-hmm. No, I walked into GameStop like a big man, and I'm like, I want that one, but I bet. And I'm like, yeah. 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 No, they, they really... And then I strutted out that store like a big man with my little Switch in my <laughs> and, and Man, what I get? I bought my, the Switch um, and Smash Bros, and I think like a controller... I'm like, yeah, I set myself up. No, I, I think I think Nintendo knows what they're doing. Same with Game Freak. They want to sell more copies. I yeah, you know what? I it's just a shame because I in many situations I want to give Game Freak the benefit of the doubt mm-hmm. because for the longest time I was when before Sword and Shield had come out I was bashing it with people when I was talking about it I was like this game is so low effort this is like this is gonna be a tragedy Pokemon is so stagnant Mm -hmm. and then I stopped to consider it Sun and Moon came out in whatever year 2016 I believe Mm -hmm. sounds right Uh, the souped up versions Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out the next year that was dirty I did not like that no, hear me also, out. Also, by the way, mine's still in shrink wrap, just for the record. <laughs> yeah. And I think, here's what I think happened, and I haven't looked it up, but I can almost guarantee this happened. Nintendo forced Game Freak to force out the first version. That's why it came out a year earlier. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is more like what they actually wanted to do, because I can definitely see in areas where the story has things added to have it make more sense. Yeah. There are Pokemon added. There are features added. Like, conversely, there was just things that they just cut out. and Like, oh, we'll just keep that in in the next version, kind of. And then they just... Yeah. Oh, probably, okay. yeah. That's they probably they weren't did. able to flesh out the full idea. That's how we got the really lackluster Sun and Moon. Mm-hmm. And Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, they're... I mean, I like them better than Sun and Moon. I think... They are good games, though personally I don't like them anyways. Mm -hmm. I don't like Ultra Moon all that much anyways. So that was 2017. And then Sword and Shield came out last year, 2019. So a two-year turnaround. They have to put... They have to force out Pokemon games like every two years. And then the expansion pass is essentially they weren't given enough time to put as much into the game that they wanted to, and so a year later, here comes the stuff that they wanted in the game. That's hey, what, what I think is more likely the case. That's the Chris. benefit of the doubt that I want to give them. I know it's more likely that they're just money grabbing. They're milking. <laughs> they're forcing us to buy more. Probably. I get that. But Chris, but I what? really think it's. I really think you gotta go easy on Game Freak because they're being forced to churn out Pokemon games at such a low time frame. 
Chris, what if you're right, and then it forces Game Freak and Nintendo to drift apart? No, Nintendo no. has an iron grip on Game Freak. What's that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they own them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, but what if they all just quit, and then they just form their own studio? I mean, Satoshi Tajiri hasn't been involved in the game making process for a, like a. I don't even remember how long. He hasn't yeah. been in since a DS game, I think. <laughs> so oh what if they just end up quitting, create their own studio, and then you get Pokemon games on like the PS4 or PS5? <laughs> that'd be that'd be funny. That'd no, be yeah, funny. give us Pokemon Coliseum on the PS4 and PS5. That'd be killer. Oh yeah, I'd because, be down for that. Because then Sony would be like, no, we're gonna either even if we have to force you guys to put this game into development for five years, we're not letting you churn out the kind of stuff that you have been. Mm -hmm. You're would, making would, this a good game. I would hope Sony would do something like that. Yeah, man. Sony does actually make some decent games. To be fair, no. So um, that's what I hope for Pokemon mm -hmm. that Nintendo will just calm their sh and just realize that it takes time to make a good game and then they give Game Freak the time to make a good game and then we actually get to see if they had enough time would they make Pokemon better would they add things would they make it the kind of game would they make Pokemon a modern game because in a modern age Pokemon looks like an app game I want yeah. <laughs> them to be given the time to make a modern game. Make Pokemon a modern game. Well, see, that's the thing. All Nintendo Pokemon games will look like app games, but that Pokemon Coliseum coming out on that PlayStation, no, that's going to look crisp as <laughs> Man? No, do you want a game I'm, I'm excited for? Huh. And that's uh, Digimon Survive. Oh, yeah, I heard heard about the Digimans. Yeah, no, we, we don't know much about it yet, but, like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I, I really want that game. And it's probably never coming out, but I want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just right after Delta Emerald. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny you mentioned Delta Emerald, is my because I, too, was one of those pushers. I'm like, man, I just need to wait for them to announce that third version. That's going to be the big good one. And then they're like, no, we're, we're, we're just going to give you two half of a game. Kevin, we uh, were. Yeah, <laughs> man. It's more likely that after the expansion content is done coming out for Sword and Shield, we're going to get the fourth gen remakes. What? Now, which ones are the fourth gen? Is that Diamond, Pearl, and Diamond Platinum? Yep, Pearl. that's Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, which I'm actually quite... I, I really like those games. No, so. just, yeah, just remake Platinum. Because... Yeah, I'd be down. Yeah, because they didn't... Uh, the third gen, like the third game version didn't get a remake last time. Yeah, they totally, I think... Could just be like, oh yeah, we're just gonna come out with the one big of good game, and you don't have to not version exclusives or nothing. But I don't know. No, but that doesn't make money, Kevin. <laughs> no, a good game makes money, Christopher. Nintendo has oh. proven that their schlock games make money. So imagine if they made a good game, like Mario. Mario's good. I hear that Odyssey is oh, yeah. a real, like it's pretty good. I haven't played it it's yet. A hoot and you know, holler. Huh? The, yeah. one, the 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 two things I loved about Platinum. Well, actually, three things. One, Distortion World. Two, uh, the Battle Frontier. And uh, three was um, the Underground stuff. I love the Underground stuff. The Underground was like an entire second game in the game. It was I know. Really flushed I out. loved it so much. It was so Dude, me and my cousins have put hours into that. I think I'll have to put Soul Silver on hold and play this Platinum because that sounds awesome, actually. That's Shoot. something I want to bring up. I miss that Pokemon games used to have side content. They used to have things to do other from the main game. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. they, uh -huh. uh, it's just that they don't really... I'm trying to think. I actually thought of something that's sort of like a side content in Sword and Shield, but uh, I can't remember it. No, I I think, I, whatever it is, I clearly didn't care enough about it. Yeah, it must have been some minor detail. To do yeah. in the game. And there's there's that one... Which game was the one with the... the, the the movies that where you like made like little that screenplay was either black and white or, no it was black two and white two yeah that was pretty good and i like that yeah that <laughs> was cool yeah what a cool little thing that never came back ever and then the pokeathlon in soul silver was pretty good um yeah no i mean i really enjoy the uh the side content too that's always i love i love the casino in soul silver too that was good yeah, see, that's the thing. I went, I went to try and play the casino in my Soul Silver, and the game crashed. So I don't know. <laughs> like he's like, no. The thing is, 
freaking the guy said okay now let's play a game and then the screen cuts to black and then it was <laughs> it stayed on the black for like five minutes and i'm like oh Your chinese bootleg <laughs> yeah i'm like oh <laughs> And man, the casino's got some good stuff, man. No, for 50 bucks, no, it's, that's fair. Uh, yeah, fair enough, I guess, yeah. Yeah, no. Because no. it's hard to get those copies of that game. Yeah. It really is. And yeah, no, like I've said, I have, it's been a much better experience on my regular 3DS, so I'll just have to play it on that for the time being. But um, yeah, no, that Platinum sounds pretty, pretty good, actually. But you know, man, the, the, I guess the thing I'd be excited about this expansion is all those legendaries. And I saw those big towers oh, yeah. and look pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I guess. I guess there, there's a, a silver lining to it all. Pokemon are more likely... Legendary Pokemon are more likely to come out through raids than they are through the expansion. No. Rip. So that's kind of disappointing. All mm-hmm. I saw was Regirock, Regice, and Registeel, and then I saw Lugia and Ho-Oh pop up on the little trailer thing. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well, those, so those are really, good. Like, I, I, saw, I saw some really nice Pokemon, so I was like, yep. Okay. And I saw a knockoff Celebi, which was interesting, I guess. A knockoff Celebi? What do you I mean? I don't know. It was, it was like a green little dog-looking thing. Oh, are you talking about the legendary for the next part of the expansion? I, I the guess frozen so. frozen tundra? Yeah, yeah, that thing. I think that's what I was looking at, actually. Yeah, because they did announce... The, they announced two expansion islands mm-hmm. at the same time. It's just that we got Isle of Armor right now. We're going to get, I think it's called Crown Tundra later this year. Mm-hmm. So there's something to look forward to if you already bought the correct expansion pass. But okay, <laughs> now let's go into which ex- which expansion is the correct one. Um, I mean, if you didn't already buy the base game. Okay, naturally, but which was the correct game actually to buy? Have, well, I, have both I, I versions have, uh, of the uh, of shield, so I have to buy both. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah. You can just play the expansion for one of them. Chris, it's Pokemon. I have to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's how Pokemon makes us money. We just like, oh, yeah. we have so, to. Yeah. Sadly. Version mm. exclusives. I know Sword has Surfetched, the far-fetched uh, Galarian e- evolution. Oh yeah, Surfetch is cool. Yeah, with his little Sh- leaf shield. Yeah. Yep. Shield has the Psychic Fairy Ponyta. Oh, man. Okay, see, it sounds like I got the wrong one. See, you know, though... Darn. I, I, really, I really don't like some of the... Uh, where they change the types of the Pokemon. I don't like that. It bugs me. Yeah, mm, I don't know. I think the type change is cool. I think some of the designs were a little lackluster. But I mean... You know, some of the designs look nice. I'll give them that. But it's just, like, I don't like that the Pokemon change types. Uh, yeah. I, um, yeah, I guess I could... Mm. Yeah, I, I, I see your side of it. I could, yeah. Yeah, I see where that, you're coming that's from. It. That's my yeah. that's my only little you know, uh, nitpick when it comes to that thing. Oh, I I because I, I don't mind like the extra evolutions and stuff like that. I just don't like the change type thing. Mm. I think it's very hit or miss on the regional variants from Alola to to Galar. I think, uh, like a Lolan Raichu was a gigantic improvement because. Oh yeah, wasn't it fairy and electric? Right? No, psychic and electric. Oh, which oh. was still good. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Yeah, uh huh. As soon as it evolved, it learned, th- it learned thunderbolt, and that's actually uh, in Sun and Moon they introduced evolution moves. You don't have to worry about like being locked out of getting a certain signature move for a Pokemon. Uh, most Pokemon have a move that they learn automatically on evolution, regardless of the level that they are. Oh, okay. It makes it easier to evolve uh, Pikachu in Sun and Moon whenever you want, as soon as you get the Thunderstone. Because uh-huh. even if you don't have Thunderbolt, like you have Psychic, and Psychic is it can get you through the game. Yeah, Psychic's good, especially for a, a Pikachu. It has a good high uh, special attack usually. Yeah, no, that yeah, that sounds right. But then other other regional variants, like I actually have to go through them in my mind. Okay, so. Stunfisk. Do you remember Stunfisk? Yeah. Oh, about Stunfisk. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> it was originally ground type. Now it's uh, yeah. steel ground. I thought it was ground electric. Was wasn't it ground electric? You know what? It was probably ground electric before. Yeah. But now it's ground steel, oh. and it looks like a bear trap, which <laughs> is a cool idea, but ground steel is an inferior type. 
Yeah. Because it gives it weakness electric. to fire and fighting. Rather than, you know, being invincible with ground electric. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. So, um, which uh, sword is the red version, correct? And then uh, shield would be blue? No, sword mm. is blue, shield is red. Yeah, right. see, I'm looking at the version exclusives, and it looks like I bought the wrong one already. No, isn't that a... <laughs> Which one did you get? I got sword. And then... You know... I like the one that looks like he's about to punch a guy into the next dimension, but the other one kind of looked like he has, like, little, like, ponytails, and he's gonna do some cool kick moves, maybe. Oh, that's what it is. It looks like they evolved to, like, a Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan type of deal. Yeah. They have different fighting styles, yeah. uh, is, like, the explanation. Mm -hmm. I believe one of them is water fighting, the other is dark fighting? I don't remember. Yeah, see, no, that's a big... I hope mine's the one that's dark fighting, because, man. But other than that, when it comes to cover legendaries, they are, like, one of the only legendaries you're going to get in the game. You know, I played the game pretty much, like, I played, like five-eighths of the game all the way through, like, the past two days. Uh, and then when I was in a fight with... I had my legendary, Zamazenta, the shield one, against Zacian, the sword one. I think it's a toss-up. I think Zamazenta's design is cooler, but as Pokemon, Zamazenta's defensive, like, ultimate defense, Zacian is ultimate offense, and it entirely depends on moves. At the end of the game, your rival will have the opposite uh, of the legendaries that you have. Mm -hmm. And he had Zacian, and Zacian had, uh, what's the, close combat. And that move is Ooh. so powerful. And Zamazenta is steel fighting. So he specifically had a move on it that I don't think that you can have on it if you have sword. He totally taught that through TM or TR yeah. or something. He's a <laughs> cheater. And it destroys Zamazenta. It doesn't. It didn't one shot him, but it would. And Zamazenta's not strong enough to one shot one shot Zacian mm. because he's defensive. So it's wild. I think they actually kind of got the legendaries right in that sense, where there's not a particularly better one. They're pretty much equal. No, there is a better one, it's and it's the one that I can't get. <laughs> Anyways, actually. No, the best legendary was Dialga. Dude, I had a level 70-something Dialga, and my cousin had a level 100 Kyogre. Oh, yeah, no, Dialga f***s it up. Yeah, totally. Dude, I, I one-hit knock out that Kyogre with the Roar Time. It was beautiful. Dude, man, Roar of Time <laughs> is the coolest freaking move, man. I remember it, Roar it of Time. Is. It is. No, that was that was the best battle ever, because we were, we were down, and, you know, we were about to lose me and my cousin, and we were battling uh -huh. my other two cousins. And yeah, yeah. they had the Kyogre. They, they, they all had level 100 Pokemons except me, and I'm just like, it's like good, no. my little seven level 70 Dialga. That's okay. The goat, the Chad will save the day, and then yeah, totally. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he were timed, and me and my cousin were screaming like, ah. Yeah, <laughs> it man. Was great. Mm -hmm. Uh good times. Anyways, we're about <laughs> at the point where I said it's uh, we were gonna like start wrapping up. So let's oh. start wrapping up, boys. Okay. <sighs> so. Unfortunately, I brought I bought the wrong Pokemon game, so that's what I'm taking away from this. <laughs> that's Fair unfortunate, enough. yeah. But now uh, I know. Hey, you already have the Shield expansion, so. Hey, you know what? I can't buy the wrong game because I have both. So therefore, shut up, is <laughs> no. It sounds like you wasted money on a bad game when you already had a good game. Hey, hey, Sword <laughs> and Shield. Uh, I love the setting. I really do. I do. I do love the setting. So you know what? I'm happy with it. It is pretty beautiful. Yeah, I, like I also enjoy it myself. I, I really love the whole uh, soccer uh, stadium for the gyms. That's mm -hmm. my favorite thing, to be honest. That 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 really like because I I enjoy soccer, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I especially like the Premier League. No man, because that's you basically what they base sort of love soccer. On. No, you just want to be the cheat in in FIFA. And just be the goalie and just kick the whole ball across the field. And then anyone tries to steal the ball and gets penalized because, like, oh, they got the goalie. Yeah. Man. Uh, that's some, that, that's some FIFA dirty... 11 was broken. Yeah, FIFA 11, man. No, that was a fun time, man. Yeah. All right, well, what if, <laughs> what if in that game you had the ability to have one of your players grow 100 feet, 
and it had the in the he had the ability to kick the ball through time <laughs> Honestly, into I think, another player oh and my goodness. Them in one shot. You know, I I think he'd probably That'd be a pretty awesome game goal, to be honest. I think he'd have to and you can't use his hands cuz it's soccer, so Okay, but the crux is that your opponent, the opposing team, has a player who can grow a thousand feet, and he has an exclusive kick that uh, rips a hole in time-space continuum just to drop a rock on your head. Ooh. Um. And there you have Dynamax versus Gigantamax. Yeah, see, that's dumb. Don't you have to catch Gigantamax versions of the Pokemon? <laughs> like, you can't just yep, get that and version? Yep, only available in raids. Yeah, that's... Mm, man, no, give me Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, I know, right? Come on, Game so, Freak. Want to know what's another underrated Pokemon game? You did it game? once, you could do it again. Gala Darkness. That's another underrated Pokemon game. Yes, um... I never, I never played Gale of Darkness because it came out on the GameCube. You were right. And yeah, then... I know. I, I, I played it once at my cousin's house. I remember seeing the trailer, and I was like, oh man, that looks cool. I never got to play Coliseum on the GameCube. I, got nope. to, I missed out uh, on that one. No, I got a uh, freaking Fortune League for Christopher. They just so happened to have the uh, the thing a thing, and then I played it over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Mm. And I'm like, man, it's, I. It was never more apparent that man, boy, did I miss a thing. Like darn. You know, I've always wanted a GameCube, and I never was able to get one. I know the GameCube. Wii technically is one, but I don't have any controllers or anything for it. So. No. GameCube was absolutely one of the most interesting and fun eras of. Gaming. video games like some yeah. inter- some very interesting like games that hold up in uh different ways sure some iconic games from my childhood from probably many childhood but maybe we'll talk about that on a different podcast yeah, yeah perhaps yeah yes that's about it uh-huh. uh follow Follow Twitter, Beanstalk Tweet, and follow Facebook, Beanstalk FB, and we'll see y'all next week. We have a Facebook now? When did that happen? Mm, Dang. I don't remember. (laughs)